there are few places in the world as breathtaking and magical as Kenya. The landscapes are captivating. The country's beauty often contrasts the struggles Kenyans have endured. And in this moment in time, hard-working families must once again persevere. My name is Joyce Chepchirchir Kiprimo. My homeland is Niten, but I'm married here. <laughs> it was quite an experience coming from Niten, which is an island, but maybe because it was love and God's will, I had to survive. In February of this year, the president of Kenya declared a national disaster. Drought ravished half the country. The situation continues to be dire. We don't have sufficient water. Rainfall is our main source of water. But when the rains delay, these are quite dry area. You'll get nothing growing here. Yeah. Because the levels of food security continue to deteriorate, the cost of food continues to rise. Staples like maize flour, known as unya, Milk and sugar are now more expensive than many families can afford. The problem here is that most people are poor. They cannot afford a balanced diet on the table. You find that in a family, the much they can afford is porridge. With lives at stake, a call for help went out to the international community. The Canadian government's Thousand Day Journey program had already been preparing to launch. International development experts from NGOs and academia had come together to help pregnant mothers and their children. When I was an undergrad, I just started learning about problems of child nutrition. Uh, we saw rates twice as high as they are now in terms of deaths among preschool kids. This means we do know quite a lot about how to prevent these deaths. What we have failed to do is get that information into programs fast enough to cover all kids everywhere. That's what these programs are aiming at. When you look at malnutrition in many developing countries, it's not so much just a health issue or a food issue. Is, is really an injustice. It's, it's a manifestation of multiple systems failing and children falling through the cracks. And that's never sat right with me. And so as a nutritionist, like that's a place where I see I could contribute and uh, do something about this injustice and, and what is not okay. Many people know what a healthy diet looks like. Their problem is they find it really hard to get to achieve that healthy diet. We call this nutrition security, and these projects aim at a more holistic approach that protects the food supply for women and kids, keeping themselves well-fed and healthy. follow Joyce and Daniel as they work within their community to fight the drought in Kenya. But in the next episode, we will take you to a remote village in Myanmar to meet a young family as they prepare to have their first baby. Be the first to hear when our next episode is released by subscribing to Our Voices newsletter at thousanddayjourney.ca.